and I learned from a lot of people and a whole pickup truck full of books and tapes. And back then we even had uh, uh, eight tracks. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> no CDs yet and cassettes. And I would learn, pick up here, a little here, a little there. And, uh, you know, five years, uh, two years into the business, I was a millionaire on paper, as far as equity goes, buy all the low end stuff I could get because that's all my mind would let me buy. And uh, bought it without using my money by using a hard money lender for most of it. Flipped some, bought some, rehab some. Did that for, gosh, seven years before I finally figured out what this business was all about. And, and uh, it took me a long time to, to uh, learn to work less and make more. So I started, I started turning loose. I started letting other people do what they do best and get the hell out of the way so I could do what I do best. And as a man that's been a control freak all my life, that was not an easy transition. All right. I didn't believe anybody could do it as good as I could do it or even do it for that matter. But I started turning loose slowly and found out, my God, they do it better than I do. You know, I don't have to do it. I'm a, I got used to that. Well, hey, can I just tell you something, Ron? I just I just did a podcast with the one of the founders of the virtual assistant company that I use for a lot of my virtual assistants. And we got talking about how, you know, the toughest thing about taking on a VA is giving up control. And uh, you know, I said, listen, I I was I was I I was my father's son, and my father was an insurance agent for 57 years and never had a secretary. And you say, Dad, why wouldn't why don't you hire a secretary? He says, Charlie, one woman in my life is enough. And, <laughs> and he said, and he said, and no one can do it as well as I can. And okay. that's the that's the downfall. So you're saying exactly what we were just talking about on the podcast. Well, that's how we grew up, man. That's yeah. how we were taught. That's how we were taught by all of our broke parents. Yeah. Uh, you do everything yourself. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got to get out of those habits. We were trained to be broke. We can train to be rich. Be trained to be rich. Yeah. And uh, all of our life, think about it. Everybody you hang around didn't have any money. Parents probably didn't have any money. Your teachers didn't have any money. Your friends didn't have any money. And they trained you to be broke and think broke. And that's true. Yeah. I, I'm the same way. Again, I'm 35 before I even started in real estate, trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. Uh, but hey, what did everybody say about you going into real estate? All your friends and family. They say you were crazy. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why I made it. 